Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing two looks with one palette, along with swatches, and a total overview of the new Perception palette, which is the collaboration between Shayla and ColourPop. Now this is a larger palette for ColourPop. There are 16 shades in here. Half of them are more neutral, kind of warm reds, which is what I'm wearing today. And then over here, you kind of have like a little quad of color, and then these are just kind of... We'll get into that later, but I'm not a huge fan of the two shades on the top and the two shades on the bottom here. Really don't think they fit in with the aesthetic of the palette, but we'll go over that in a little bit. You do get a large mirror in here, which I think is pretty nice, especially for ColourPop and how affordable it is. And then it's not a sticker, but on the actual back of the palette, you have all the shade names. This palette being a little bit bigger is more expensive than the rest of the palettes that ColourPop has come out with to this point. This palette was $23. This is the only part of the collaboration collection that I did pick up. It also came with three bullet lipsticks, two shimmer loose highlighters, and then also a ultra glossy lip. Before I talk about the palette and about the looks that I came up with, let's go ahead and jump into swatches of all the shades. Those were the swatches and I've used this palette quite a few times up until this point. I did want to do a couple of looks with it, try to use as many shades as I could to really give you a full overview of the palette. Honestly, I was a little disappointed that we only have four matte shades and the four matte shades are like these super neutral shades right here. I would have loved to have one of these colorful shades be a matte because they are all like shimmers. Especially this green. Actually, I think the green was the biggest letdown of the entire palette because it doesn't really show up as pigmented on your eyes. I do use it in look number one. I will show you in a little bit. I tried to use it on my lower lash line, but you it just looked muddy. It didn't really look there. I honestly wasn't really happy with the first look that I came up with. I'm a lot happier with this look, but what drew me to this palette were these colors over here. And if they're a bit of a letdown, then the whole purpose of this palette is kind of a letdown for me because if the only good shades in here are the warm neutrals, I have plenty of warm neutrals in my collection. Let's go ahead and jump into the two looks that I came up with. This is look number two. I'll go ahead and throw timestamps in the description box below if you want to skip to look number one or look number two. And then after we finish both looks, we'll come back and talk about my final thoughts on this palette.
final thoughts. Honestly, for me, I wouldn't really recommend this palette, especially if you already have a palette with some nice warm neutrals in it, because the first two rows are basically all warm neutrals if I cover this up. Yeah, that's it. You've, you've had this palette in your collection already. And then for this side of the palette, the only shades that I actually like liked are 14, which was the blue. And even then, I can't really use it in my crease. I really just use it as a pop of color. You get to build it up like on your lower lash line. And then shade right here, which is shade. That's actually a really pretty color. But individually, them being pretty doesn't make this other half of the palette like cohesive. I can't really make a look out of these two like overall the palette seems jumbled to me and i thought like looking at pictures that i would be able to come up with more looks out of this palette but overall a lot of the colors are like they, they seem dull they seem dull especially like titus up here in a limited edition i think it is ie right there i'm just i wasn't really impressed with the quality of this half of the palette which is unfortunate because that's what i was most looking forward to so that was my overview of the new ColourPop and Shayla palette. Don't forget to let me know down below which look you liked better. I obviously liked look two a lot better. Kind of struggled through look number one. But don't forget to let me know down below. Leave me a comment and like this video if you want to see any more palette overviews. And let me know what palette do you want to see next. I hope that you'll subscribe and hit the little bell icon before you leave so you'll get notified of all of my future videos. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!